Hey there, photographers, Brenda Petrella here, and welcome to another episode of Photo Pills Friday, where we unlock the power of the Photo Pills app and help you learn it with out all the confusion. In today's quick tip episode, I'm going to explain what the hidden map toolbar icons mean and how to use them. So let's dive into the planner. Okay, so first things first, the area of the planner that we're going to be focused on is at the bottom of the map where you see two icons. One looks like a plus sign and one looks like two pieces of paper stacked on top of one another. If you've been following along with other episodes of Photo Pills Friday, then you already know that the icon to the right is how you access the map settings. The plus sign is how you access the map toolbar that we are going to use today. If you click on any of the icons or on the X, that map toolbar goes away. Since we're going to be going over all of these icons today, let's set the map toolbar to be accessible at all times. So to do that, click on the plus sign, scroll the toolbar all the way to the left so that you're at the rightmost icon that looks like a padlock and click on it. That will lock the toolbar to the map so that it's accessible. Okay, now let's scroll through to the beginning of this list and start with the first icon, which is the GPS icon. If you click on it, it will simply put the red pin at your current location. The second icon is a way of moving the red pin to a different location. And there are many different ways of moving the red pin. And this method is helpful if you need to move it to a distance far away. And so when you click on the icon, the red pin pops up and a white X will appear. Now, if you scroll the map around, you'll see that the X is fixed to the center of the screen and you can scroll out and put the X on a new location and all you have to do is then tap the X and the red pin will then be relocated on that spot. The next two icons in the list are very straightforward. The one that's pointing to the left is an undo button and the one that's pointing to the right is the redo button. And note that these buttons only undo and redo the location of the red and black pins. It, they do not undo and redo changes made to the timeline. Okay, the next icon is a way of getting rid of the top bar and bottom bar on the planner so that it opens the map up more and is less distracting. And this can help simplify your view while planning. Okay, the next icon is how you would swap the red and black pin locations. To use this icon, you need to first turn on the pin to pin geodetic info panel of the top bar. So scroll the top bar until you get to that panel and click on the icon on the left to activate it. The black pin appears. Now, if you click on the swap pins icon, you will see that the red and black pins will be switching locations. This is helpful for when you are loading a point of interest, which puts the red pin on that location's coordinates. And there isn't a way of specifically loading the black pin coordinates. So what you can do instead is load the red pin location and then swap the two pins to get the black pin to be at those coordinates. Okay, we are about halfway through. You can do this. Next, we have the extend azimuth lines icon for the sun and moon azimuths. To use this, you will need to have the sun or, and or moon map layers activated in order to see the azimuth lines for the sun or moon. So I currently have mine activated. If you need to activate yours, you can scroll the top bar over to get to this panel and click on it to activate the sun or and or moon map layers. Check out episode three if you need to learn more about how to read and use the sun and moon map layers. All this icon is doing is extending the line of the azimuth beyond the red pin and its extension is shown as a dotted line. So it's an orange dotted line for the sun and it's a blue dotted line for the moon. And if we were to move the timeline around, you can see the azimuth and the extended azimuth lines move around the map accordingly. The reason you might wanna use this feature is if you need to move the red pin to change, say, the distance between you and your subject, but you need to keep the red pin aligned with the azimuth of the sun or moon then you can just move the red pin along the dotted line to another point along the azimuth so that you maintain that alignment. The next icon shows your current location as indicated by a blue dot, but does not reset the location of the red pin like the GPS icon does. 
So this is handy for when you're on location for a planned shoot and you want to be sure that you're physically located where you want the red pin to be in your plan because this is your predetermined shooting location. You can learn more about how to create a plan in episode five. And it's a little hard to see, but the blue dot also has a tiny little point coming out of it, which indicates the direction that you're currently facing. So if you you know, move your phone around and point it in a different direction, you'll see that little point move accordingly on the map. The next icon is simply another way to access different map types. So if you wanted to quickly change the map type, you can do that here instead of going into the map settings. The next icon is the compass icon. And when you click it, a compass pops up in the upper right hand corner and a blue dot with a white triangle appears at your current location. And the white triangle is indicating your, your orientation or point of view, and the map will auto rotate around as you change your orientation. And this feature can be helpful when you're scouting potential locations. Okay, last but not least, let's unlock the map toolbar for a moment. If you click on any icon from the map toolbar, a shortcut for that icon appears next to the plus sign. To get rid of the shortcut, simply press, hold, and drag over the plus sign and a little garbage can will appear. And if you let go, now that shortcut will disappear. If you have trouble remembering what these icons mean, then be sure to download my PhotoPills icon cheat sheet, which is a PDF that you can download to your device as a quick reference. There's a link in the description below if you wanna download it. So keep learning, keep practicing, hit subscribe if you wanna see more, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.